So these are the Calder dark camo carryalls. I've got this is a large and this is an extra large. I've said this so many times before with fishing luggage. When I was younger, if I'd have bought that in a shop, that would have been a large and that would have been a small. But these days, to make more money, they've, they'll adjust all the sizes so they can get extra sizes into their range. So yeah, that's a large and that's an extra large. So if you're only buying one, straight away I would say again, overkill rather than not quite get all your gear into it you should always go for the extra large anyway let's have a look i do like the pattern i've said that before i'm using this one for all my actual fishing stuff tackles in there uh, my alarms i've got some glasses there's nothing in that one that pocket it's little bits of odds and ends and that one it's got me lead patch um, pockets are nice and big i'll zip this one down so you get quite a lot of room in there big nice bit of depth to them so you can get quite a good amount of stuff in it uh, as you see that's basically full up really that's the large so the extra large i use my winter clothes bag so in here towels waterproofs gloves you know you name it socks all my change of clothes in there if i get soaked or cold in the winter same size pockets got nice depth to them and there's a charger on the side the pockets on the side are obviously wider Got loads of junk in there spare batteries stuff that goes inside the bivy you can see the depth on that pocket it's full up with what we've got in there toilet roll and spare gas in there and there's a mozzie zapper You've got a pocket underneath there with a zip for stuff. It's got like a padded top, they both have. Um, so you could use it as like a little table if you wanted to. It's not it's not not going to sag, but it's better than not having it. In this side I've got there's another little toilet roll with some clean wipes. There's like a med kit in there. And a wash bag in case anyone gets a hook in their hand or anything like that the med, med kit um they both come with nice padded shoulder strap which will come off if you want it to and clips and you've got these either side these handles which i find more handy for lifting on and off of barras in and out of cars and vans generally moving a, moving the thing about Zips are okay. A little bit of double side in there. A bit of padding. They're nice bags, but just a comparison, really, this was for sizes. Um, this small one is big enough. It is big enough, but you might as well go full out. I forgot they've got back pockets as well, which is the length of the bag. Um, some stuff in there. Another. And this one has got a spare rig patch. Yeah, you can see that the width they pull out at by that in there. I'll take that out. See, that's how wide that is, and that's going in there, with no problem. So, yeah. Nice bags. No problems with them yet. I haven't been used much, to be fair. Um, not in the winter yet. 
even though I've set them up for the winter. We just add some summer use. So there's your large one. There's your extra large one. Um, what's the difference? Extra 20 quid, 30 quid. Might sound quite a bit, but you know, if your one nose wants to get a ring in one bag, go for the XL. If you're after a bag anyway, in general, go for the XL because you don't have to obviously fill that to the top. Whereas you probably would end up filling that to the top with your gear. So anything in there that I put in there will obviously fit and I don't, you know, I'll have space for anything else if I wanted to take it. There you go.